Today I'm going to show you how I created this Mother's Day art with letter frames in the word mother. And inside each letter frame I've got photos. So stay tuned and I'll show you how I did it. All right, I'm going to start by creating a custom size. And I'm going to do um, 15 wide by 12 high. And that's pixels. And I'm going to look for letter frames under elements. So I'll look for M. I'll look for O, I'll look for T, H, if you can't tell, I'm spelling mother, E, and R. So let's see if I've got the enough letters for the word. I'm just positioning them now so they are together. I may have to resize this, but let's see how it goes. Yeah, so I think I need more room, so I'm going to have to resize this. Um, so let me go into resize, and maybe I'll do 2,000. Okay. I'm going to bring this up a little bit so that it's more centered and I'm going to bring these I'm going to position them a little bit. I'll bring that up here and I'll bring that there. And I think I'm going to make these a little bit smaller like so. Okay, perfect. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a photo of a family and I'm going to place it on my background. And I'm going to place this as my background. Okay, I'm going to take that photo now and I'm going to decrease the transparency. I'm going to turn it all the way down. And you can turn it as far down as you like. I'll just leave it like that. I'm going to grab my first letter frame. And if you have photos, then you can just place them um, in inside. So I'm going to take a couple of photos and I'm going to put them in there. Now to reposition your photos, just um, double click in the frame and move them in here. Maybe I'll grab this one. And I'll grab this one. We want to see mom, so I'm going to move mom over a little bit and maybe I'll increase the size so we can see mom. And uh, let's see what else we got here that we can put into these frames. I'm going to grab this one. Maybe 
I'll search for mom for photos. I'll do this one. And I'll do this one. Okay. And so what other options do we have now? Uh, we can add some writing. Um, so let me go to text and I'm going to add a text box. And I'm going to make this text box a little bit larger. And I'll just put it there. And I'm going to say, I love you to the moon. going to move this text box and make it aligned with the M. And let's change the font for this. Uh, let's see how that looks. I don't really like that. Okay, I like that. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Maybe we'll make it 104. And let's see if we can align that there. That's perfect. Okay. Okay. And maybe what we'll do is we'll add some more text. And we will put the year in there. And we'll just move that to the side here. And let's create a text effect with that. Okay, we'll use the hollow effect and maybe we'll make it a little bit bigger. And now if we want to uh, add the names uh, of the kids in here, we can do that two. So we can, let me make a duplicate of that and I'll bring that down here and I'll just make that smaller and we'll say John, Jim, Sarah, Tim. And let's make that smaller. So, yeah, let's make that a little bit smaller. And let's align that to the right. Okay, perfect. It's a little bit hard to see the actual um, letters. So we have a couple of options. We can either add a border. So if we add a border, we can do black or we can do white. Uh, we also have the option to determine the thickness of the border weight. So as I toggle this uh, upward, it makes it the border thicker. And if we want to apply the same style for this, all we need to do is click the copy style and we can select the next uh, element. So I'm going to copy this style all the way through. And I'm also going to add a little bit of a shadow on the bottom. So I'm going to go to my elements section. I'm going to clear the filter there and I'm going to look for a shadow. So we can do this and I'm just going to make sure that that's in behind the other writing. That's fine. Okay. I'm just going to decrease the transparency a little bit there so that it's not so prominent. And that's 100% optional. If you don't want it, you can, you don't have to add it. Now we can take this one step further by adding a leafy shadow such as this. And this is 100% optional. 
and depending on whether you want to see this shadow on top of the M or behind, you could go to position and just move the shadow behind the letters like so. Now, if your plan is to print this out on a t-shirt and maybe you might want to have a splatter effect around the edges, um, you could create an effect like that by searching um, splatter border splatter border and you could do um, something like this and as you can see it has the color chooser so you could change that to white so that's one option if you wanted to just make the edges a little bit rough so that it's transitioning from the photo into the t-shirt material you could do that um, the other option is to just search for splatter on its own without the border and you can just apply that spatter on the um, edges like so now some of it will come white some of it you'll have to change the color um, but that's how you can achieve that splatter effect and then you would just duplicate it the option is totally up to you i actually prefer this type of border so then what you would do is you would just take that make a copy you can rotate it and you could just bring that to the side there. Now, <clears throat> if it's too large, um, you can just decrease it. You can decrease the size and then you can just duplicate it and uh, bring it up. Uh, you can also just bring it to the, or you can actually just move it back too. Um, that's an option too that you can do. And if you ha you're having a hard time trying to get those um, borders, remember you can always go to position and you can um, select them uh, in the position uh, layers tab so that you're not going crazy trying to, trying to grab them. Um, so yeah, I really don't like this to be honest. You know what, you tell me, tell me in the comments, did you, which one did you prefer? Um, anyhow, again, you can duplicate this and we can flip it like this and then we can bring that up there like this and we can then make another uh, duplicate here. Let's do this duplicate and let's flip it like that and then we can just smoosh that right over there like that. Now I will have a very comprehensive tutorial that will be coming out shortly for beginners. If you're intermediate level, you might be bored to death, uh, but you're welcome to subscribe to get that as well. For now, my friends, I will say bye-bye until next time.